Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek of WebPianoTeacher.com. Today we're going to learn a fun one. It is Johnny Cash, Folsom Prison Blues. Let's take a listen. I hear the train a-coming. It's coming around the bend. And so forth. <laughs> All right, guys. WebPianoTeacher.com, where we gather together to learn, play, and share the music that we love creating a culture of encouragement for all you guys out there across the world who are trying to learn to play piano online. You can do it, but you have to pick the right lessons and you know you have to know how to practice. That's what I'm going to help you how to do, all right? So in this part one lesson on this, this is kind of neat. This is uh, kind of unique because this can be on a real simple level where we just do chords all the way through and we play these little guitar uh, interludes. It's not too hard. All right, so if you're a beginner and you want to just jump in and start playing this, you can do that. But I also wrote a honky-tonk piano solo in this that's really killer that you can put in. And I'm not going to put it here, but we'll do it all on the website if you are a member. And you can download the sheet for this as well. So lots of things coming up in this one. I am using the Kawai MP11SE, and we're using just the, the uh, pop piano sound. Uh, the first one, the pop piano has a little bit more of an edge to it. Good for this, uh, these pop songs, these country things that need a little bit of edge to the tone. All right, so here we go. Now the guitar in this is going to be uh, low, bah, 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 right? But a lot of times when you have other instruments playing and you put them on the piano, you want to bump it up an octave because it's just too low here. If I did it here, it's just too low. So I'm going to put it up here. I hear the train a coming. All right, we're going to learn what's called a boom chuck. At least what I call it, a boom chuck accompaniment, which can be used in a lot of things, especially country music, especially a lot of Johnny Cash stuff. All right, so this guitar starts, bah, 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 bumping it up an octave, three Cs. I'm going to use my middle finger so that I have my fifth finger for the E. Okay, then I'm going to have G, B flat, C, E, one, two, three, five. Bah, 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 bah. So two of those. Two, da, then C E and then da dum. Now on the guitar, they're just going whirl. They're bending a note and then bringing it back down to try to make that sound like that. On the keyboard, we're going to do A flat and C with three and five, and then go to G with our two finger da dum. Okay, it gives us the sound of that bend somehow. It makes our ear hear that. Okay, so the left hand, what are we doing? We're doing an octave and then a fifth. Now, if we have country music and we have the bass guitar going bum, 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 all the time, all the way through, which is common for a lot of country music, I like to do the octave and then the fifth I'll do with just a single finger. Okay, in fact, we just did Lion Eyes by the Eagle, the same lesson. Okay, is that just a single note? I could do this, but then it kind of sounds like, you know, a carnival or something. So I just want the single note. All right, let's put our hands together on that first measure. One, two, go. Bum, bum, bum. That's it. Bum, 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 bum. Then we have an F here. Now, a lot of people will play an F major chord here, but if you listen really close, that guitar player has an A flat in there, which makes it minor. And when Johnny comes in, he makes it major with his voice. I hear the train a-coming. Okay, so I'm going to use a minor here because that's what's on the, the album version. So I'll try to listen for those little bitty details so that we really sound like the real thing. F on my two finger, then I'm going to come in with C, F, A flat. Now the left hand's low, F, C, F, C. All right, I'm not going to use the pedal on this, really. I'm really just not going to use it because I don't want it to, uh, to ruin the sound. A lot of you just put down the pedal and hold it down all the time. That's really hurting your playing. It's really um, just ruining what you're doing with your fingers. So no pedal here. F, C, F, C. Okay, octave and then the single note, the two finger. Now the right hand is going to go in between. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And I'm not going to be too heavy on my right hand. I don't want to sound like this. Okay, I don't want to do that. I want to... I want that top hand to sound like an upstroke. Bump, when you do an upstroke on guitar with the pick, 
it's not as strong as a downstroke. So I want the kind of the weight of it to be on my left hand so the balance is correct. Okay, all right, so let's put that, put that together. One and two and go. Ba, 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 ba. I hear the train. Then we just come in and start singing and we'll have uh, an F major chord. Hey, if you didn't know, the only difference between a major and a minor chord is that middle note. F major is A natural. F minor is A flat. That's why there was an A flat in here, and it sounded kind of mysterious. Now, when we get here, F, C, I'm still going to do the octave in the fifth, but my right hand's going to go here. F, A, C, I hear the train of coming. All right, so let's do all of it. One and two and go. Ba, ba, ba. I hear the train a coming. Da, 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 da. Right. You just hear Johnny, Johnny Cash's voice, right? My son has an awesome voice. He's only 14, but he has this deep, you know, bass baritone voice, and I have him sing this for me. It was so fun. Because I can't even, you know, the, the lowest notes I can't even attempt to try to get because I have a high voice. So a lot of fun to do that. Anyway, guys, honky tonk piano solo on this. I wrote it specifically for you guys on webpianoteacher.com so you can have something fun to play with this one, something to show off with. Uh, so check it out. I'll talk to you later.